good to record. Okay. Well, hello everyone. Um, we are chatting about a pretty cool software project. Um, can you help me pronounce the software project? Yes, it's the first uh, challenge if you uh, find this uh, piece of software. So this is chaos. Chaos, uh, chaos. chaos comes from the Greek uh, history. So uh, it's a Greek word and uh, the meaning is I think uh, quite, uh, quite clear. So it's a kind of mess, kind of um, um, chaos. <laughs> Maybe this is the, <laughs> this is the, uh, the simplest uh, translation. Oh, well, actually, okay. it's it's okay. not. It was not my decision. Uh, I joined the project just later. It was started by two guys. Uh, the first uh, person uh, was uh, uh, Thomas Marsh from the United States, and uh, he was a young programmer, and he had a friend that. Czech Republic in uh, Europe. Uh, his name is uh, Jan Hubička. I don't know if, if this name is uh, sounds uh, familiar to to the audience, but it's a Czech name. Jan is uh, like John, so it's a Czech version of John, and Hubička means uh, kiss. So it's a, uh, it's a name like an artist, and they they chose the name chaos because uh, they found it's a bit of chaotic they created. Sure, sure. Um, and, and, and am I pronouncing your name correct? Or is your name Zoltan? Well, that's uh, another challenge. Uh, Zoltan is my first name. And it's a Hungarian name. Uh, Hungary is uh, close to the Czech Republic. It's in the middle of Europe. And uh, Kovács is my family name. Its ne meaning is uh, Smith. So it's a very common name in Hungary. OK. Kind of re reminds me of the TV show, uh, Altered Carbon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we should probably give an introduction of what the program Chaos does and what people can use it for. Um, would, would you like to do that or shall I? Well, uh, it's okay for me if you if you start to to do some. Okay. Some I, I, I'll, okay. I'll give a brief introduction and if you find something you want to tweak about how I explain it by all means. So, so chaos is a uh, two-dimensional fractal viewing program. Um, fractals are an interesting field of mathematics. Um, I think bits of the landscape in Star Wars were kind of generated from fractals. So it does have some application. Definitely encourage you to download the program. Chaos things you'll probably see all week. I do a decent job there, Zoltan. Uh, unfortunately, the, the, the bandwidth is, is somehow very, uh, changing here sometimes it's it's okay sometimes slow so what i understood from your question uh, yes it's a fractal uh, um, uh, explorer maybe explorer is the uh, is the best uh, morpher or zoomer so actually you have a, a system that uh, makes it possible to to display a fractal, so-called uh, escape time fractal. Escape time fractal is um, a, a mathematical notion, of course. You have uh, a set of uh, points in the plane. 
So you can take a, a square somewhere in the Cartesian uh, coordinate system and, and try to uh, compute a, a very, very boring but uh, time consuming process for each point in this square. Of course, you cannot do uh, it for each point, but a lot of points in the square, in, in, the, in the plane. And escape means that uh, if the computation escapes from, uh, from a bounded uh, region in the plane, then uh, the initial point doesn't belong to the fractal. But otherwise, if, uh, if this process, this computation uh, keeps, uh, uh, so it, it remains in, in this bounded region, then that point will be selected to be uh, displayed uh, in the fractal. So this is maybe a, a mathematical notion and it's difficult to, to understand if you are not a mathematician, but uh, in a nutshell for a, uh, for uh, human beings, a lot of computations are required. And escape time, okay. escape time means um, if, if the computation escapes or not, it, it, or doesn't, then you will uh, color the point uh, to different colors. Um, Zoltan, would you mind maybe sharing your screen for a moment and like pulling up chaos and showing people, you know, kind of how it looks? Okay, shall I do it or uh, do you want to do it? Maybe I can do it if I'm, you like. I, I've got it. I've got it installed. I'm just worried about the bandwidth on my end. Okay, okay, um, okay. Let's try then. I will. I will start chaos on my end, and okay. and I will will use. Uh, well, I need to start. Okay, I, I, I'm happy because it's in English. Of course, okay. uh, of course, there is a. There's a Hungarian uh, version and, and other, other, uh, well, okay, let's try. Can you see this? Uh... Yes. Okay. So this is, uh, this is the initial screen of, of uh, chaos. And uh, you can uh, use the left uh, mouse button to, to zoom in and the right mouse button to zoom out. And this is the so-called Mandelbrot set, quite, uh, quite uh, well known. And here we can see actually the, uh, the escape time notion already. For the black points, the process doesn't escape. And for the other points, this is actually the, the complex plane. And I don't know, maybe we can uh, try, uh, there is here, where is it? So we can uh, switch. Uh, where is it? So we can oh. add add uh, add. Uh, uh -huh. here we can uh, add the grid, the Cartesian grid. So okay, okay, it's not so nice, but uh, it helps understanding the mathematics. So this is the origin here. This is the origin and uh, the point uh, one zero and two zero are here, minus one zero and minus two zero are here. And this is point zero one, zero two, zero minus one, zero minus two. So actually this is a circle here with uh, radius two. And uh, for this uh, fractal, we, we consider uh, points inside this uh, square and inside this circle. And if I'm, I'm zoom, zooming, I'm trying to zoom in, then you can see that uh, this grid is changing uh, dynamically. Not so, okay. maybe I, I, I switch it off for, for this minute. We have a lot of uh, uh, different fractal uh, types in this menu fractal formulae. Instead of the basic uh, formula, which is uh, the so-called z uh, equals to z uh, to the square plus c, so this formula is is uh, quite simple, but you need to do it a lot of times. We can have the same formula for a cubic version or, or a quartic uh, 
a queen tick, a sex tick. Maybe a, a, you can see this, the difference. So this is the cubic version. Okay. This is the, the quartic version. And uh, if you zoom in, so uh, you can see that uh, the, the figures are completely, uh, they, they seem to be random. Of course, they are not random, but uh, they, they differ. They differ uh, at all places of, of, the, uh, of the region you are uh, zooming in. There are a lot of, lot of other formulas, and and uh, so these these five are uh, the the most uh, well known. But maybe uh, you you also uh, you are interested in in the Newton formula that is Whoa. that is related to 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 compute the, the cubic root of a number, and of course uh, if you need a different uh, uh, palette of color different colors you, you can all the time uh, change it to, to a different one. So where, where is it? Okay, palette and uh, the random one. Uh, there are some shortcuts uh, by pressing P uh, to if you are uh, so lazy that you don't don't want to create, <laughs> you don't want to create your own uh, colors, but there is a, a palette editor or or so you have you have the option to to select your uh, your own choice. So this is a quite a big uh, program with a lot of features, and uh, it takes quite a lot of time to to introduce all uh, features. I, I can uh, pr press A to go into a, a automated mode to to just uh, enjoy uh, and drink a cup of coffee, for example. <laughs> so I so for for viewers who aren't necessarily familiar with um, fractals, if you haven't figured it out by now, fractals are, are infinite. You can go to a, an infinite depth and you can still keep zooming in all the time. Yes, uh, so fractal mathematics has a history of uh, about hundred years. And uh, uh, they were uh, founded by uh, pure mathematicians only in the 70s where, when uh, computers were cheaper than before and uh, they became popular. Uh, it was uh, easier to, to discover new kinds of geometries. And it was the first person maybe, I don't know, uh, Professor Mandel brought from the United States from IBM, I think he, he worked for, for IBM. So he, he discovered the first uh, uh, geometric impressions and uh, infinite, you, you meant this word infinite. Yes, they, they are infinite. Of course, we cannot do uh, this infinitely because uh, the, the zooming factor, I think I, I can change the speed. So the zooming okay. speed, speed is now, uh, one, but I can change it to five. Let's see what happens if I, I, I'm zooming very quickly. So, fasten oh, wow. open your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite, quite amazing. And uh, so it's a quite of uh, repeating, but you can see that here we, we lose uh, some, uh, well, how, how can I see the, we, yes, we are, we are in a very, very small, region now. So here you can see minus uh, 18. So we, uh, we consider here a, a very small region of the plane. And at this level, we cannot uh, have an accurate computation anymore. So unfortunately, uh, even if theoretic theoretically fractals are infinite, uh, we cannot do at this right now uh, at um, acceptable speed so is that just a limit of modern hardware zoltan uh, not just the hardware so last year we had a, 
uh, Google Summer of Code project. And we managed to, to get a slot by using uh, the, the GNU umbrella. The, does it make sense? So, mm -hmm. yep. so the GNU um, umbrella means GNU has a, has a, has a usual uh, connection, uh, an old connection with, with the Google Summer of Code program and Chaos was a member of this GNU umbrella uh, project. And we, we managed to, to win a student from India. His name is Anurag Agarwal and he planned to, to add some uh, speed up and uh, well, the first step was to to change the to change uh, this. Uh, I think we have here uh, sixty four bits of of uh, precision, and he wanted to change it to 108, 128 bits. Wow! But uh, it, it was uh, unfortunately uh, not uh, fast enough. So we decided to to keep this compiler option to to have it uh, with 128 bits, but it's not so fast. So it's much more enjoyable with uh, 64 bits. And the next step is that you to change um, to arbitrary precision, and it is even even more uh, slower. So. Even if you you think it's a, it's a very quick thing, uh, we are cheating in the background because uh, okay actually for each uh, step when you you zoom one one uh, frame inside, then we um, we compute only ten percent of the pixels, and the, the remaining ninety percent it was a uh, a wonderful idea from Jan Hubicka, from the original author of, of Chaos in 1996. So to save 90% uh, of time, we use the previous uh, uh, frames, the previous uh, pictures, and uh, a kind of interpolation is used to to, to compute the next frame. So it's it's not completely accurate but your eyes uh, don't uh, um, realize that, that there is some kind of cheating in the background. Maybe That's I can, pretty... maybe yeah, I can yeah. show you what, uh, how, how this cheating is, is uh, clear at some level. So this is the, the, the one on the Sherpinski carpet. I changed by using the, the left uh, button. Maybe it's easier to change it here by the Aha, uh -huh. okay. Instead of uh, 970, I use uh, five, okay? So, okay. Or, or even even better, maybe three uh, iterations. So how, how you can create this uh, so-called Sierpinski uh, uh, fractal? Actually, there are two different versions of, of Sierpinski. So this is the Sierpinski carpet and the Sierpinski triangle is a, is a different one. How this is computed? First, we have a square, then uh, we remove the, the inner uh, square. Then we remove the inner squares in the eight remaining small squares. And then we remove uh, uh, the eight times eight, so actually 64 uh, squares in the remaining small uh, squares. So maybe maybe it's easier to see if, if I change the iteration to, to a different one, different level. I should try it, but let's try it with one. Okay, so this is the first iter uh, iteration. The second iteration is like that. And the third one is this. Now, if I change this uh, to, to a bigger number, for example, 10, then you can see that uh, the floating point actually uh, is not really useful here. And if I'm zooming in, well, uh, this kind of cheating is uh, quite uh, 
quite clear that something is, is wrong in the background. But for escape time fractals, this is usually still a working uh, option. For this fractal, well, it depends. So <laughs> we, we are thinking on, on, a, on a better algorithm for, for the moment. This is not, uh, uh, not the best uh, option, but it's better than nothing. Yes, I would agree. I would agree. So um, I, I guess my first question for you, Zoltan, is how did you get started developing for chaos? What, what was your introduction to it? Yes, so um, I already uh, mentioned uh, these two guys. Uh, they started the project in 1996. And uh, is it a problem if, if I, 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 shall I stop this uh, or, or shall I continue showing some fractals? What, what do you prefer? Um, we, we, can do a mix of, we can do a mix of both. Yeah, keep, keep showing it off and maybe just answer the questions as we go okay. along, yeah. Okay, okay. So. Uh, I joined the project in 2002. And the reason was, uh, well, I was teaching uh, at, uh, at that time uh, mathematics at uh, the University of uh, Szeged in Hungary. Szeged is a, a city with 200,000 people in south of uh, Hungary. And uh, I liked Chaos. So Chaos was actually the second uh, free piece of software that time. The first one was uh, Fractint. Fractint was a great uh, software tool and Chaos wanted to be a bit better. But Chaos was also free and it was also a part of the Debian project. So a lot of Linux users uh, knew uh, it uh, after installing uh, the Debian system. So it had a kind of uh, publicity even if uh, Linux was not so uh, well known that time. So I used the, the DOS version for the first time later. Uh, there was a Windows version, but I joined 2000, uh, in 2002 and I wrote an email to Jan that, hey, you are a genius. You did a, <laughs> you did a great job. Uh, and why not um, add uh, some uh, more languages? I would like to translate the program into Hungarian for my students. And I'm very interested. And this uh, concept should be written in a mathematics uh, a paper uh, to, to make a, an even bigger, even more publicity for this. And Jan was actually, uh, so he visited uh, Budapest, Budapest, the time okay. of 2002, 2003. She had a, a girlfriend who had a, another girlfriend, a friend in Hungary. So they were musicians. They, uh, her girlfriend and, and the girlfriend's girlfriend were uh, playing uh, violin. Violin? Violin. <laughs> and um, I, I've never met, met them before. So I, I traveled to, to Budapest and uh, for me, they were unknown people, including uh, Jan. We just met for one evening, we ate together somewhere, some, some nice food. Uh, and uh, so we became friends. And I, I told him, hey, I want to contribute. And he told me, okay, Zoltan, so, Let's try. You can add your own uh, piece of code. Why not? And I also suggested him write uh, that sh we should write a paper on the algorithm. So so we did, and uh, it was published. I think two years ago, two two years after then. So it became a bit of uh, um, so more. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this was my first Very step. Cool. Very cool. So that brings you to my second question. So, so are you a math genius? <laughs> well, I think uh, in in the world I, I live, uh, it's not uh, uh, well, not uh, not a typical 
concept to be a math genius. Everybody who, who likes math is a bit different than, than the normal people. So I, I, I'm comf uh, I come from a family where uh, mathematics was not so interesting, but my father uh, is an in he's still an engineer, a retired engineer. And uh, I, I always liked mathematics and I, I attended a mathematics uh, class in uh, Hungary. And I had very good teachers, so I just decided to be a mathematics teacher. Formerly, I wanted to be a mathematician, a famous one, very famous one. And I decided I will learn and be uh, and find some some interesting uh, theorems. But then I learned, no, it's uh, it's not uh, so. It's a bit uh, uh, childish to. To, to fight for, for being famous. So it's much more nice for the community that I, I want to be a teacher. So I, I decided to, to learn mathematics at the university as a teacher. And uh, I never, uh, so I, I, I think it was a good decision. Um, after the university uh, years, I, I was teaching mathematics uh, in a high school, in a secondary school. And at the same time, I was invited to be a lecturer at the university in mathematics. So my profession is at the moment to, to teach mathematics at university level. So I, I have students uh, who are prospective teachers in, uh, I live no, no longer in, in Hungary. I live in in, uh, in Austria, and um, this uh, country was very helpful for me. This is another neighbor country here. Uh, I, I may uh, finish my PhD in uh, in the topic how to teach mathematics by using computer software. So chaos was actually also a part of my my uh, doctor thesis. It's a very small piece. I, okay. To to answer your questions, no question. No, I'm not a math genius. I like mathematics, but uh, there there are people who are much better than than I. Well, I, I think we are going to uh, grant your wish today. I think after this interview, you're, we're both going to be famous. <laughs> okay. Um, the, the third question I was going to ask you, um, you know, fractals do seem to be pretty awesome and you guys have an awesome program to let you view it and play with it. Um, is there other cool things that people should kind of explore in the mathematics? Is there other visual uh, mathematics that are really pretty interesting too? Uh, well, uh, I have uh, some uh, favorite fractals uh, and... Uh, I think mathematics uh, in uh, first first I'd like to answer your for, for your second question. So I think there are a lot of nice things in in mathematics, but the biggest problem is that uh, in many schools mathematics is not a kind of exploration. So you just learn a, a recipe how to compute the area of a triangle or how to compute the volume of a, a pyramid or a sphere or something. But uh, so you, you don't have to think about things and it's not so interesting. So many people think mathematics is actually not, not very challenging in the sense that you enjoy exploration. And fractals are different in, in, uh, in the kind of uh, sense that you you find always something different. Uh, if you zoom into a different part of the fractal, you find something something else. So you cannot control things uh, uh, by using simple recipes. And that's why it's uh, actually quite challenging to, to do mathematics by exploration. Yes, I have a, a favorite uh, fractal and maybe I can show it to you. Okay. I have a 3D printer here and I use 
one one second i i will take sure. it and and maybe i need to stop uh, the screen sharing for some seconds i i don't know can you see my uh, my yeah hey, you can you can see my my uh, can you see this do you know what what, I, what it is uh, at the moment i think i'm still seeing chaos but my um, if you if you see my my camera um at the same time at the, no you can see only uh, chaos maybe i i, I will stop sharing no no you can see me yes can you see this uh, something here yes yeah so yes. this this is a piece of fractal it's the seventh uh, iteration of uh, a very simple thing. And this is, uh, well, I, I need only a piece of paper and nothing more. So this piece of, uh, this sheet of paper, you can generate this fractal by uh, just folding this paper. So first you fold it once and you have this first iteration. Can you see this? This is an L in some sense. Maybe like that. Can you see the L? Uh huh. Oh, like that. Okay, this is an L. So if you fold it again uh, together and then fold it out, then you have a different form like that, something like that. So this is mm -hmm. something okay. like a question mark with a the point. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if you do, the, do this iteration again and again, many times, and you fold uh, always uh, the, the result out. I mean, I'm not, not sure if, if my, uh, my notions in English are perfect, but you, you always get a kind of different uh, curve if you see this like that. So after the seventh iteration, you get this. <laughs> so it's very, very strange. Okay. And you can do it uh, like, uh, so it, you can print it uh, on your own if you have a 3D printer or if you have a simple program in Python, for example. And if you, you print, so this is a, uh, these are two flat ones. You can actually put them together and you can uh, see that they are, uh, uh, they, they, wow. can, they can be put together uh, without uh, overlapping. And this is not just the, the only one. There are many uh, other um, ways how, how, how this works. So in the background, there is a nice mathematical theory from the 70s. And uh, well, by using fractals and a very, very simple iteration, you can explore a simple theory that is quite deep and quite interesting to work on. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What what fractals would you encourage people to explore with chaos? Well, maybe I, I am going back to sharing my screen share chaos again. Mm -hmm. So for uh, beginners, I think uh, the simplest one is uh, either the, the, the Koch uh, snowflake or the, the, of the Sherpinsky carpet and the Sherpinsky uh, uh, triangle. So this is the Sherpinsky triangle and uh, it's uh, quite easy to, to explain uh, to, to non-mathematicians how, how such fractals are created. If we go back to the fractal uh, uh, Sherpinsky carpet, you can uh, ask a question about the, the area of this fractal or the perimeter of this uh, fractal. So uh, last year, uh, no, no, not, not last year, it was 
two years ago, I was in the United States in Colorado Springs. There was a, a, a summer camp for gifted, uh, gifted uh, students. They were about 12 years old. And I asked them, if you had a, a piece of uh, a plot, a piece of land in, in uh, Manhattan like that, and this belongs to you. So of course so you, you, you have a square and you, you don't have the middle of the square and you don't have the middle of, of, of these eight squares and, and so on. And we do it infinitely. The question is how much uh, area you have, how, how much uh, uh, land do you have uh, as a total? And uh, this is a quite interesting question because uh, uh, you, you find after uh, computing the sum of, of um, infinite uh, series in mathematics, in mathematical calculus, that you learn that this area is zero. So you don't, mm. have, you don't have any plot actually. <laughs> so on the other hand, if you want to, to, to create a fence for, for, this, uh, for, your, uh, uh, for your property, then uh, you need to pay for, for the fence uh, some money, of course. And the fence is actually, if you, if you compute the sum, the mathematical sum for, for the fence, you will get an infinite number. So it will be <laughs> So <laughs> actually you need to pay infinitely much for nothing. So this is the <laughs> worst business in Manhattan. And uh, I think this could be uh, uh, some kind of fun also for children. And you don't have to go very deeply in, in the mathematics. As a beginning, uh, maybe for, for uh, for other people who are familiar with mathematics, I, I just uh, uh, would, would use uh, the Mandelbrot set. You need to do some complex uh, arithmetics to understand the de some detail, but to be honest, I'm not clever enough to, to understand a lot on this uh, fractal. So uh, you need to be a, a genius in some sense to, to uh, to understand the very uh, the very detail of of this, maybe the iterations to, to change it to, to a bigger number, then you you see some some nice uh, parts. For example, here you you see that the, this Mandelbrot figure is here again, very similar to the, the original one, but not this, not completely the same. And the mathematics behind is quite difficult. Okay. Let's see here. Um, so, so I've seen some videos online of some three dimensional fractals. Um, would, would, would we have to borrow Google's supercomputer to view those in real time? Well, to be honest, I, I'm not uh, an ex expert of, of 3D uh, fractals. And uh, to be honest, uh, chaos uh, doesn't have a 3D uh, engine at the moment, for uh, at least. Of course, you have a kind of uh, uh, a filter. So this is a pseudo 3D filter that uh, uh, makes it possible to, to see the, the fractal like a, a 3D uh, um, object, but this wow. is again this is again a kind of cheating. So so it's just a filter, and and uh, what we are doing is still two dimensional and not three dimensional. But uh, you have the feeling, okay, it's it's a kind of two uh, three dimensional. Um, for three dimensional, for real three dimensional fractals, you need something more and. As far as I know, they are more time consuming than uh, two dimensional fractals because of course you need to, uh, to work in a bigger set. And uh, th there are of course uh, very nice uh, um, researches, research papers on this. Uh, 
but uh, I'm not uh, familiar with this. And uh, uh, well, for for faster computers, I think this could be a kind of future. If you have a faster computer, of course you will be able to do more computations and you will be able to to have eventually more accurate uh, output. Okay. Where do you see uh, chaos going in the future? Uh, what, what do you see its, its roadmap being? Well, uh, at the moment we are two or three people in the project who are active enough. Uh, the most active was uh, J.B. Langson from the United States, from uh, Texas, Austin. So he is a professional programmer, and he decided to to contribute some code for for the Mac OS first, and then he changed to Windows and Linux. But actually, this uh, last last version is uh, four point two point one. It is based on the Qt uh, engine, and the Qt engine is uh, well. We had difficulties with its uh, uh, licensing, but so it was a kind of, kind of compromise. We had to uh, go into a direction to, to simplify the code base because the code base was so uh, universal that every piece of uh, uh, operating system was supported. Now, at the moment, we support only the biggest uh, platforms like Windows and Linux and uh, Mac, and uh, every platform that uh, supports uh, Qt. So Qt is Qt, the Qt uh, um, framework. It's a C++ framework. And uh, in some sense, it makes... Uh, possible for uh, newcomers, for new people to, uh, to just uh, contribute some code. So we have a GitHub page, uh, and maybe I, I can uh, show the web page of, of uh, our GitHub. Uh, may, may I do that? Yes, yes, please. Okay, so, so we have, uh, I will use my, 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 my Chrome. And and I will share my screen again. So one more second, please. This is uh, this is it. Yes. So so at GitHub we have uh, this. Can you see my screen in in, in Git, GitHub? Yep. Okay. Shall I uh, increase the, the font size? Maybe a bit. Okay, a bit. I will change it. To... Maybe just a little. Okay, so let's let's try. And uh, here we have uh, um, another page. Yeah. It's an introductory page, and I hope we can see it. So this piece of code was written in JavaScript. Good. Good. Maybe you are familiar with this. So JB, uh, our, our American friend, he managed to, to rewrite the core of, of the Zoomer uh, engine to, to JavaScript, but it's not fully functional. So it's just uh, limited to have the, the Mandelbrot set. And here we are open to, to, to invite uh, other people. So we have actually almost everything uh, documented in a wiki, what is chaos, uh, how to use it and how to how to join us as a future developer so we have kind of uh, explanation uh, how to build chaos uh, what kind of decisions were uh, done or were met during uh, the last uh, couple of years what kind of algorithms uh, are present uh, and uh, 
so we think we try to to share almost everything what we learned during this project and we we hope we are hoping that uh, the new generation finds this uh, interesting enough to to help and contribute and maybe uh, develop new formulas new algorithms and uh, just to uh, sh uh, share the gospel <laughs> in some sense Does it make sense, or uh, 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 do you want to to hear more about the role? <laughs> so it, it seems like people um, would get started. Sure, I mean. Okay, I think uh, I cannot hear you at the moment. Okay, can 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 you hear me now? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, um, I I I think we got kind of the roadmap. But if there's some more features you wanted to talk about, I'm I'm fine with that. Um, people, it seems like should get involved with the GitHub page. Um, well, is is there any? Yes, uh -huh. if if I had a wish. <laughs> For the future, we would like to compile the chaos uh, to be a full featured web application. So this is the number one project now. Oh, okay. And in fact, there is also there is already some support in Qt to compile a C++ program, a graphical C++ program into um, um, a web application and uh, for, in our case it's not so simple because we we already have a lot of non-standard uh, tricks to do the animation to do the calculation loop so here some sophisticated work is needed somebody who who thinks okay i will spend one month or two months to to learn how to do that. In fact, chaos can be compiled for the web right now, but you, you cannot start a program because uh, <laughs> the main loop is uh, somehow hanging. It doesn't crash, but you, you cannot communicate. You cannot uh, uh, interact with the program. Uh, you can start the, 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 the system. The menu system will be displayed after you stop Firefox or Google Chrome and the browser, but you cannot interact. So we are searching for some uh, clever guys <laughs> who, who want to spend some time on the project. And unfortunately this year, we, we didn't get a, a support from, from Google. So we, didn't, we were not part uh, with a GNU umbrella. Uh, of the Google Summer of Code project, but because of the Corona situation, it was also a bit different uh, this year. So okay. maybe next year, or maybe somebody just want to join us and and implement the missing features. Well, I think that's most of the questions I have. Unless there's anything else you want to add, Zoltan. Well, uh, may I have a question? Uh, th that, that was all the questions that I had. Mm -hmm. um, is, unless there's anything else you want to add, I, I, think, I think we're okay. good. Well, uh, I'm happy to, to, to be interviewed. So thank you for the possibility. Well, maybe... Maybe I can uh, uh, suggest reading uh, one paper. So we have a okay. we have a research paper on, on chaos, and it was uh, published uh, a couple of months ago. 
and I can I can uh, show you this uh, this paper maybe for sure the, sure for the last time I, I I will share my screen again. So the paper was uh, a joint uh, work of uh, of Anurag, so the Indian student, and uh, and JB and uh, another colleague from the United States who, who has a foundation uh, to support young learners to teach um, fractals. So this is the paper. It was uh, published in, uh, in, the, in a journal, uh, Mathematics and Computer Science. And it was uh, published by Springer. So the paper is, uh, well, I think you can uh, download it because it's a kind of uh, open. Uh, I can uh, copy it in the chat as well to for you to to for the future. It's, so here, yeah. and we reported uh, some uh, on some recent uh, improvements and. Uh, we had some uh, photos of uh, of young people who who enjoy fractals. So chaos is uh, not just for for uh, experiments or exploration or just for enjoying mathematics, but we use it for teaching uh, mathematics a bit, not not uh, not in a very serious uh, sense but maybe one photo or two photos I, I would like to show. So this young girl here, she lives somewhere in uh, New Mexico, in Albuquerque. And she, uh, she was the third uh, at the competition, the contest to create her own uh, fractal. So she was actually happy because uh, after then the Fractal Foundation printed this, uh, uh, this fractal she was uh, invented okay. and it was put on uh, on her elementary school on the wall <laughs> so i think it's a kind of uh, success among young learners if uh, your explorations are uh, accepted and uh, acknowledged and uh, if you want to learn ma mathematics and you want to love mathematics then the way is to do it and to explore, not just follow recipes, not just learn wow. formulas in a textbook, but you need to enjoy it and to do it on your own in some sense. So this is maybe a message uh, I, I would like to share uh, to your audience, Joshua, and thanks for the possibility. Yeah, thanks for meeting me today. I, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. Okay, you too. Uh, I will be happy if you uh, if you have some some output. I I would be happy to see how you can uh, uh, cut things together, and maybe you have a final version to share. Sure. I, I was planning on just having like a, just the full length video, just showing that. Okay, I will stop, um, stop now. I the think recording. you <laughs> and I will send you the, the, the file soon. Sounds like a plan. Okay, now I'm stopping the, the recording. Okay. Okay.